All right, Gus, uh, we're going to go over today how to go from Onshape to Revit. Uh, we're going to use an intermediate tool called Autodesk Inventor. Uh, some of you guys might be familiar with Inventor uh, for your CAD modeling anyway. So if you created it in Inventor, you can actually skip this first part of exporting. Uh, but you eventually still want to go through Inventor to create this Revit file. Um, this is really useful for creating custom parts, you know, custom piece of furniture or even a custom structure uh, that you can bring into Revit. Okay, and I'm going to start off here. We'll keep it simple. And I'm going to use my train model. Some of you guys maybe helped us train when we did your uh, design class. Um, so we'll go ahead, and go ahead and use this one. All right, so the first thing you're going to do, right click on whatever part or assembly. You can do it as a part or an assembly. And we're going to go here to export. Uh, and in this option, we're going to choose the step format and we're going to download. Okay, so hit OK. And eventually it will do some preparation here and it will export your file. Uh, depending on how complex it is, that might take more or less time. And as you can see here, it will download it probably in your download folder. All right, next up, you're gonna to go to your desktop and you're gonna find Autodesk Inventor Professional 2021 is what we have installed right now. Um, so double click on that and it will eventually load up. Sorry, mine's loading up on the other screen here, but eventually, It'll pull up here and then um, we'll take our next step. So uh, eventually we're going to bring this in kind of as a part in assembly. And so, sorry, it's taking a little bit of time here. <clears throat> and when you first open it up, it should kind of pull up to the screen. Uh, it might say something about start landing if it's your first time opening Inventor. Uh, eventually we're going to come here to assembly. Or you can click up here, new, oh, sorry, file, new, and then you can also get to assembly that way. Okay, so I'll go ahead and do that. And as soon as it opens up a new assembly, we're going to kind of place a component. And in this case, we're going to place the component uh, that we're going to import based on that file that we just created from Onshape. So I'm going to come here to place, uh, place imported CAD file. And I'm going to go to that folder I saved it in. So in this case, it'll download. And uh, here's that one I just Okay, so I'll use this one from before. All right, hit open. I uh, have a few options here. I honestly don't haven't spent too much time looking at all of those, but you should be able to just click OK. And eventually, it will import your file. I'll zoom out a little bit here and click. And it should lock it in. Okay, so depending on how you built this, you may have noticed that uh, you want to line this up because it's easier to line up here. Right now, I have the front being the top, and I really want the bottom to be this back side so that when I bring in Revit, it'll be uh, set up properly. So I'm going to do this pretty simply with the constraint. Um, if you open up this origin folder, you have some um, different planes. And so I can see here the FZ plane is really what I want on the bottom. So if I do a constraint, I'm going to use, in this case, this mate, and uh, it's going to be a kind of face-to-face -face mate. I'll choose the XZ plane and then choose the back side of my model. I might give you that little flip sound, and I'll kind of, oops, sorry here. It'll kind of lock your part in place. Hit OK. And now if I rotate this around, I can see that this is uh, the top is where I want to be the top, the front is where I want to have the front. All right, uh, so once that's kind of set up, I will come back over here to the top. And we're going to go into environments. All right, under environments, we have this one that says BIM content, building information management system, and I'm going to export building components. Uh, it'll ask you to save your file first. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. I might go ahead and put it back in my downloads folder just for um, sake of example. All right, so train Revit, and I'm going to call it update. Okay, hit save. And uh, in my case, since it was an assembly, it's going to ask me to save all of these other parts that I made. So I'll just go ahead and say yes to all and hit OK. Okay, if you made a single part, then it might just, it, it might skip over that. Tip. Okay, and here it's kind of setting up the file so that we can actually create a 
Revit family file. Um, so this is saying you want to substitute some of the models uh, so it's easier to bring into Revit. In this case, I'm going to say yes, kind of simplify the model. I don't need it to be super precise. Hit OK. Again, it'll think about it a little bit. And eventually, it should have a more simplified model for us to bring it. Okay, now, now that it's done that, I'm going to hit Export Building Components one more time. And now you can see here it's going to go to a Revit family file okay, or RFA file. So uh, let me Revit. I will call it Train Revit Update and hit Save. Again, I'll think about it a little bit. And eventually, we did this properly. It'll build out a Revit family file. Let this finish up. And in the meantime, I'll kind of get my Revit file ready as well. Okay, and if, again, if you guys know, if you guys could build this, you know that this train is actually really small. Uh, so when I bring it to Revit, it'll be also kind of small, but well, maybe it's more for the sake of example here. All right, and this is taking its sweet time today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording so you guys don't have to worry too much about waiting through this whole portion. Oh, just as I said that, it's been a perfect. Uh, do you want to review the translation report? That is not necessary, so I'll hit no for that. And let's go ahead and open up Revit. Okay, so now that I'm in Revit, uh, it's just like what we usually do. We'll go to architecture, component, place a component, and I'm going to have to load this family up. Load family. And I'll pull up this, and we're going to go to download. Uh, I think this is the one I just made. So train, train Revit update to 23 p.m. No, that's right. Hit open. And again, I'll have to think about it a little bit. And now if I zoom in here, I'll see I've got my, my little train uh, model right there. I'm going to click in place. I know just be like another Revit component. You can make a bunch of them if you want to. Um, and you can kind of go from there that I could place a bunch if I wanted to. It's, again, sorry, my computer's really laggy and slow today, but um, I think you're getting the idea. Okay, and so now I've got my little train model with my Revit file, and it's a component just like anything else. So I can, you know, Drag it over here, maybe place it on the driveway. I don't know, whatever you want to do with that. Okay, all right, so that should be about it, guys. Uh, if you need any more help, feel free to reach out. But uh, that gets you from Onshape into Revit.